good afternoon you guys so y'all like how i just slid back on her like i actually got an intro i need to give me an intro i kind of feel like i've been in been in it too long to where do i really need one but i don't know it kind of gives authenticity when you just get on her and slide and talk to y'all but anyway girl it's hard as hell if y'all can't tell the flat earning is not flattened okay i re dyed my hair because the first dye i did i think i used l'oreal or something i'm not gonna hold y'all i was lazy like as you can see my hair is really thick so i should have went section to section and after i did like the four quadrants and i just did this part over here i really just started just pouring this shit <laughs> um, i end up going to get some adore I kind of heard mixed reviews on them. Like, I heard it's really good for, like, wigs, but I don't know how good it's going to be for, like, natural hair. I went ahead and got it anyway because I don't too much care for, like, the regular box type of um, dyes. And I don't know where, like, they their state beauty and stuff is down here. So I went ahead and got a door because I already knew I was going to cut my hair anyway because it was damaged so i'm like if i do any more damage to it like it's fine it's getting cut so i could i could probably like this probably like this much off and i'm about to go home this weekend and i'm gonna have one of my best friends they gonna go behind me and clip some stuff because you know if your hair is not completely flat like what are you doing but yeah so what else i got going on i'm gonna go grab me some lunch hope i got my business cards on me that was my plan to kind of um pass out business cards today i'm trying to strategize some other stuff like i put in applications like i said in my field like as far as schools and stuff not so much as like working at anybody else's shop or anything like because these shops are like highway robbery as far as like when you start getting into corporate like i don't want to use nobody's corporate names or nothing name brand corporates like say if i wanted to do waxing which y'all know i haven't done waxing in years i only do sugaring girl they'll try to pay you i don't even know if this certain company does like um minimal i don't know if they're still on minimum wage or not but i see this whole video thread on the clock app yesterday and basically this girl was a dancer or whatever and uh entertainer and she went to school you know she better her stuff she got her sd license or whatnot and then she went to a nine to five and <laughs> she was like it's just not giving and it was so many people in the comments saying like they literally made more in tips than in two miles. Take the stand it. Like when I was in institution school and we had to go do like the um like a group tour type thing to where we went to go visit like the different bigger companies. I don't know another word without putting a company name out there or whatever. All of them either had, especially for cosmetology, all of them had like internships to where you can work to get your experience but they wasn't gonna pay you and i call bs because if you have multiple companies in different states and this is like a high class type of hair bar hair and esthetician bar girl y'all making all these all this money off of people and y'all want somebody to work for free for the experience experience my ass experience is gonna come but if you can't go tell that rental office that um yeah i got an internship and once my experience is in they made them do that shit for a year two six months to a year once i get my experience in i'll be sure to pay your rental time hell nah girl that shit don't work like that at all so that's weird but floyd not forcing i'm not tripping Yes. That's all. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, so I had to wait till I got to the restaurant because it was hating, but I should know where this is by now. I done met her like at least two or three times, but this is my favorite time of the day. Why? Because ain't nobody here but me and the employees, okay? I ain't trying to get the Rona again. I mean, I know it's inevitable, and honestly, I got to work on building my own um, immune system. But that's a whole nother thing. So happy art happy hour starts from three to five is two now. And like my drink will be five dollars. So I'm like, cool, you know, I can stress some shit out. Uh by the time they bring my food, I eat, I drink, I'll be here for an hour. Cause I think their lowest is like eight dollars. And um, I don't be much of I just order shrimp and potatoes. Um I know a lot of people eat the corn and stuff with their braces, but I'm not messing with it. But I'm supposed to get my braces off at the end of this month. Wait. Yeah, at the end of October. I was supposed to get these shits off like two months ago, but y'all know I transitioned to Texas. And then the other time, I was down here looking for an apartment. So, child, I'm so ready to get these hoes out. I think I've been having them for like three years or something like that. So, after I get them out, I'm going to get on teeth whitened and get retainers. I don't know if I'm going to get permanent retainers. Um, when I pay for my braces, it all came together. But also, I want these to get a little straighter. So, we're going to see before he take these off if he need to add some more rubber bands or something like that. But, Cause baby, I'm getting my money's worth. I think they ran me. I don't know if it's me five racks or something like that. I can't remember, but I know that she was out of pocket. When, I, <laughs> when they come off, I'm gonna be smiling for no damn reason. So I'm sitting here waiting on my food now. I'll let y'all see how it Yeah, baby. It's about to be real, real. I can hear him. So, I always get a pound of shrimp. Hold on. I need to say something. Okay, y'all. Um, I got the chopped up on stem napkin to so y'all can see what I'm about to get into. So I got a pound of potatoes. I mean, a pound of shrimp. And then I got six potatoes. And then I'm going to tap y'all. That's why I'm giving happy hour. Okay, look at that. Next time I'm going to ask for no ice. Okay? Normally I ask for light ice for no ice because I need to my money's worth. Thank you. I really like the customer service, huh? They always real nice. When I get up here. What's good, guys? So it's the next day, of course. I'm over here filming a makeup tutorial. Like, I just wanted to do a light beat with a pop of color. And then I realized, bitch, it's almost one o'clock. You ain't eight. So I'm over here warming me up some spaghetti. About to eat that. Finish my little makeup tutorials. Record another YouTube video for y'all. Because remember, I said I had a good YouTube video for makeup artists. And what else do I need to do? It's my niece's birthday today. She's turning eight. So I have to go get her something for her birthday. And then we're going out to eat. We're going out to eat with the family. I think we're going to, um, I don't know, Outback or a Steakhouse or something. I can't remember. I'm going to do that. So, yeah, I have y'all slide around with me today. And then at the end of this day, i probably leave it off. I feel like it's easier for me to make vlogs, like, in small snippets of my day. You know what I mean? Like, and it's easier to edit. I've been using CapCut. I used to use iMovie, but I feel like CapCut takes up so much of space in my phone. Like, what do y'all be using to edit y'all YouTube videos? I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in myself and buy me a camera, but I don't know what camera to get either. So if you do have a camera and you a YouTuber, we know what type of camera you use because everybody swears something is the best, but baby, that's when they're getting paid for it. I need to know the real. Okay, a good start of YouTube camera. So yeah, let me know about that. 
Oh, child. I broke my handheld um, cell phone holder yesterday, and I was devastated because I love that little thing. So, real quick, before I get into this food, I made some good old leftovers, meatless spaghetti, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions. Okay, but let me, let me touch on something right quick. I didn't want to make a whole separate video on this because I feel like I wanted to touch on this subject but i didn't want to get my whole energy like a whole 30 minute video on this okay listen so this erica bank chick the rapper or whatever i don't even know the name of that label that meg the stallion be having so much beef with <clears throat> i seen this viral video that she did about looking a certain aesthetic or having apparent appearances and all this other shit um to go to the club with her girl number one I know I've been saying this a lot in my past videos, but social media got you hoes warped, okay? It has you warped, and it's really, really sad. First off, it's a club. Like, a club ain't never been that serious. If you're, like, an influencer or a rapper or whatever like that, and they paying you to make, like, a club appearance or something like that, they're going to pay you regardless. And they should respect the people that you bring it in why do you care about what these ninjas yeah i'm gonna say ninjas you know why do you care so much about what these ninjas think y'all look like because half the time they not buying y'all no bottles they not throwing no money on y'all and if they do buy y'all a bottle like they're gonna expect expect something like they're gonna be all up in y'all face number two girl you was looking like the chick that you don't want to come that you don't want to come with you before you got all done up again i'm not discriminating on nobody's body y'all can get y'all bodies done i don't give a damn they don't have anything to do with me but i can't stand when a girl criticizes somebody that kept their natural body and you know once you once you went to go lay and did whatever you did to your body you know, it's a problem where they don't fit the aesthetic. Girl, did you not get invited to the club when you was your natural body? Like, it, it's not clicking to me. Like, I'm not even going to add the video in here, but I'm sure y'all can go on the clock app or YouTube or something like that. And what's really fucked up about it is somebody screen recorded from her close friends. So either your close friends know you sound like you smoking some dope or you didn't left them out but i'm like damn did you not get invited prior to she was like yeah so the girl can be like the nicest in the world the sweetest girl in the world blah blah but you're not coming with me like i want an aesthetic if you're skinny you can't come if you can't dress you can't come um girl is this what y'all really own and i've seen a couple of people defended her yes we're entitled to our own opinions and i just think it's just superficial as fuck don't any of this shit matter none of this material shit none of these looks none of nothing it doesn't matter like this is it's really sad to me that you know she's not the only one that thinks like this but she would feel a certain type of way if she went to the club to one of these celebrities that that's known for like discriminating against people's color or weight or something like that you know she'd probably be ranting out her life if somebody wouldn't uh let let her in a section due to that like i think this shit is sad like for real i seen a video like a couple of months ago and basically somebody was like um she didn't want to be this girl's friend because the girl was like, oh, you're so pretty, blah, blah, blah. We should be friends. And she felt like the girl was fake. And I didn't understand what she was saying until this situation. Now, honestly, if I tell you pretty, girl, you pretty. You fine as hell, you know? Like, I'm not looking to be your friend. I already got my own friends. But I'm not looking to be, you know, in your space or whatever like that. Just off of your looks. Like i'm just genuinely giving you a compliment so i kind of had to look at it from the girl's point of view like well dang i really didn't know hoes was out here just making friend groups off of what they look like that shit is sad that's not sad to y'all that's sad as hell to me <laughs>
I don't know. That's just sad. Yeah. What is it, Aubrey? What you got, girl? Don't drop it trying to open it. to get some gas um so yeah jay decided to stay with my mom this weekend and that's kind of cool because i get to maneuver around knock out some of these appointments kind of excited to see my clients and also my new baby my best friend had a baby and i'm so excited to see him so yeah um when i drive i like to have fire ass track lists you know so I'm gonna really be playing my music. If I got some random thoughts or some shit on here, I'll come talk to y'all, especially if I get sleepy. One thing about it, I be tired driving. But these niggas got the music on the background. I ain't trying to get copyrighted. Like, um, closed and they have to figure out what we're doing. But I was like, well, yeah, yeah. If you want to, uh, when it gets a little break, even if you want to, um, well, let's see. Okay, y'all, so I had to come in because this is moving. Y'all see that? And the wire is exposed. It's supposed to be in my brush stops at the end of this month, but this isn't closed yet. So we're going to have to figure it out. My bongs are really straight, but we're going to get it together. I can't vlog that long here because got the, they got the hits hitting. So, yeah, I thought she was really about to replace some stuff, do a whole bunch of shit. Literally, she just cut off the bracket, like, because I had an open wire um you know that was poking me in my cheek and i was just letting her know like girl these spaces are not closing i've been telling them this like the last two or three appointments and i feel like well certain doctors and i say this with all feels like they overbook themselves just like a hairdresser have you ever been to a hair salon and you be like Dang, I gotta clock in a whole day for me to get my hair done, you know? Um, I remember being in cosmetology and that's kinda how they taught them how to do it. Da -da 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 -da. But I say all this to say, when you overbook yourself or you have too many patients, like I feel like your bedside manner kinda lacks. Or you can't just be attentive to all um all your patients because you're so busy going to the next so the orthodontist i go to he has two locations and i feel like the other location he only go to sometimes out the week but he moves like this and i understand it's a money thing people got to get their stuff going but at the same time i feel like he don't listen to my concerns because he's always moving so fast and he was just like i can kind of tell he got irritated with me last time like it's going to close like it'll be closed by the time we take them off like you know that was a couple of months ago and it's kind of like baby i didn't pay these braces off in full and i got the ceramics so i feel like anything that i'm trying to get together or make sure is cool i'm trying to get my money's worth and plus i don't want to have to repeat it over again you know having to get more braces but that's that's a, another story the lady gonna tell me yeah you might have to book a consultation for the next time um you come down before you get your braces off i'm like girl i cannot drive all the way from dallas or fly all the way from dallas for 10 minutes just for y'all to tell me something but child i'm about to head into this bank do some deposits Oh, it closed at four. The lobby, uh, bro. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to reset my damn password to my account. 
And since it's a business account, they not messing with me unless I got my tax ID on me. My tax ID information and shit is at home in my business files. And on my, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, y'all can't take my social. And the lady telling me on the phone, they can't take my social because it's a business account. I'm like, I'm the owner. We about to slide through this drive through and see if they can do anything for me. I doubt it, but it can't hurt to try. Then I need to give me something to eat because I drove from Texas nonstop. It's like four, four hours and 30 minutes. And I ate some, I ate some leftover, um, my onion bloom from last night in a Butterfinger child. So I'm hungry as hell. Whew. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Can you, can you hear me? Oh. Okay, you probably can't help me, but I need to reset my logins for the app. And they said that I had to come to do that. I didn't know y'all closed at four. Oh, yeah. Well, you need to reset your login for your mobile app. Yeah, so I don't remember my user and password. I try to use my account number and my social, but since it's a business account, they're saying that I need my tax ID. I don't have my tax ID on me. It's in Texas. I only got my social. So she said I would have to come in. Okay. No. Y'all, I swear I can get myself into some BS. So, okay, listen. Y'all know I went to Red Claw, right? And so the man was like, you want to leave a tab open? Because I got there like an hour before happy hour. And the drinks was like $5. I'm like, yeah, cool. He's like, can I, we can either hold your debit card or license. And you know your girl wasn't leaving my damn debit card there. So I'm like, yeah, y'all can hold my license. So I had three little drinks, some seafood. I was there for a cool minute. Why did I get all the way here to the bank trying to get my bank shit straight for my business bank account? Bitch, I didn't left my entire license. I didn't left my entire license at, at the damn Red Claw. I had to just call them to make sure they had my license. <laughs> And it's there. What the hell? That's crazy. That sounds like some true alky shit. And I ain't even been drinking like that. Uh, thank God I didn't throw my temporary license away. I had got a paper temporary license waiting on my license in the mail. You know what? For that, I need some. I need a glass of wine for that. <laughs> this is crazy. No one wants to have fun at my job. Or their idea of fun is like drinking a beer and going to a shooting range or going to hunt. And I'm just like, why? Like, can we like actual things, please? Um, I'm day in the life. Yes. You want to be on camera? No, I was about to say, you want to be on camera? My hair is so cute. Some people be like, I don't want to be. Yeah, I do. I'm going to take my drink. <laughs> That was my first public event ever, and a lot of Alright, y'all. So I'm back home. I made it safely from Tulsa. And that's the end of my vlog. Be sure to tune in to my next vlog. Subscribe, hit that bell so you can get all the notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next one.